Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is all about the stunning, sparkling navy blue, smoky eyes paired with this gorgeous, bright fuchsia lip, which is aptly suitable for any occasions or functions of your choice. So one of my friends is getting engaged this week, and she just wants me to create a look for her engagement function. And so here it is. So I have created this look. So this is basically an engagement makeup look. You can add mantika or neck piece. Uh, for this makeup look but i don't wear that much jewelry since i have kept it really simple with this jhumka and a pair of bangles so i hope you're gonna like this video and if you want to know how i created this look then please keep on watching So I have already primed my skin using this Maybelline Master Prime Primer. Now it's time to do my eyebrows. So taking a spoolie at first I'm gonna brush out my eyebrow like this and gonna brush it down to know the natural eyebrow line. Now using this eyebrow pomade from L'Oreal I'm gonna outline my eyebrow like this. So this will just add a shape to my brow i have already done an eyebrow makeup tutorial guys you can just click on that eye to watch it now using very small strokes i'm gonna fill in the gaps of my eyebrows now to add a little bit dimension to my eyebrows i'm using this nika take a brow filler powder and just adding it to my brows this will just make everything look really bold since it's a special day for you you just want uh, to have very nice bold brows so I have created this bold brows and uh, I'm going to take a spoolie and brush it out to distribute the product all over my brows. Now since I'll be doing a very heavy eye makeup, I just want uh, everything to be nice and clean. So I'm just cleaning out my eyebrow using a concealer. So this step is really vital guys. This just makes everything looks really prominent and put together. Now I'm going to color correct my face and for color correction I'm using this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 50 Cafe which is a lot more darker than my skin tone so I generally use this concealer for color correction so I'm putting it on the areas where I have acne scars, pigmentation, dark circles, spots or anything like that. I'm going to blend it now with the help of this concealer brush from Zoeva. So using a darker concealer helps in color correction as well. Now I'm just going to set my color correction using a loose powder so don't forget to set your color correction because if you don't set it it will mix up with your foundation and make your foundation look orange so it's a really necessary step now for the foundation i'm using one of my favorite foundations of all time and it's the milani conceal and perfect foundation i'm just taking one and a half pump of this and adding a little bit of liquid highlighter with it so using or mixing a liquid highlighter or illuminator with your foundation makes your foundation look really glowy and nice so for a special look for your special day you just need to add a lot more glow to your face so you can apply this trick so with the help of my fingertips i'm just dotting this foundation all over my face now using my puna store makeup sponge i'm gonna blend this out so this foundation is a really great foundation guys it is having such a nice semi matte finish which adds such a nice glow to the skin it's a full coverage so one single layer has provided me such a nice coverage you can see it's a really suitable for bridal look or any special occasions makeup look so highly recommended now for the concealer i'm using my current obsession and it's the pack spotlight a concealer in the shade nutcracker so this is also a full coverage concealer since i'll be creating a bold eye look i just want my under eyes look really bright and very smooth and even toned so i am using this full coverage concealer so i'm putting it under my eyes and on the bridge of my nose cupid's both chin and blending the same with the help of the sponge and you can see this is just giving such a nice coverage under my eyes so highly recommended guys this concealer is a really a great one you can try this one as well now to set my concealer and my foundation i'm using my favorite setting powder of all time and it's the maybelline fit me finishing loose powder in the shade 20 a light medium it has got a blurring smoothing effect guys it just filters your face it just makes your makeup last for so long so if you want a very good setting powder you can try this one so using a powder brush i'm gonna set my overall face as well 
so you can see this is how I created my base makeup now it's time to do my eyes so for the eyes I am using uh, this pack 9 colors matte eyeshadow palette at first I'm taking this a uh, light brown shade in a fluffy blending brush this one is from Pro Arte and I'm gonna just uh, blend this uh, shade all over my crease as a transition color you can use any light brown shade you have in your collection to get this look Now I'm going back to the palette and taking this mauveish burgundy shade from the palette and in this tapered blending brush which is called the Pro Arte AE25 brush I'm going to just place it right in the outer one third of my eye like this. So this is just helping me to create a depth and a gradient in my eyes you can see and using very small circular motion I'm going to take it towards my crease and blend it with the previous transition color. You can see I'm just blending it very nicely. So this sort of eye look needs a lot of blending guys so take your time and blend your eyeshadow. Now taking a concealer in this a flat shader brush from Zoeva I'm gonna cut my crease half away so I'll be doing half cut crease as you can see so this concealer will help in just having a base for your next eyeshadow to work on so for special occasions you can cut your crease like this and apply your shimmery shade or any other matte shade of your choice for uh, this uh, deep navy blue shade I'm using this uh, beauty glaze Neptune palette and taking this uh, gorgeous uh, matte navy blue shade I'm gonna spritz a little bit of fixer and just spread it all over my lid where I have put the concealer so this uh, shade appears to be a little light on camera but in reality it's a lot more darker now taking the previous mauveish brown shade I'm gonna blend out the edges so that everything looks really nice and blended. Now going back to the pack palette I'm taking the black shade in a petite crease brush I'm gonna put it right in the outer corner of my eye like this to create, create a smokiness and a depth in my eyes as you can see you can use any black of your choice. Now uh, just reapplying that blue again to make it more intense. For the lower lash line, I am just using a smudging brush and putting that mauveish shade all over my lower lash line followed by that deep navy blue shade very close to my waterline. I am using this Pro Arte PE29 pencil brush for this purpose. Highly recommended. You just need to get this pencil brush. Now this is my favorite eye pencil of all time and it's the Nykaa Glamorize in the shade Azure Charm and I don't need to say a lot more about this because you can see this is such a stunning shade I have applied this one on my lower waterline and for my upper waterline I'm using this coal from Shambar and this is how it turned out now for the glitter I'm using this uh, pressed glitter from glitter mafia and it's in the shade black fiesta so this is basically a black glitter so it is a very chunky glitter but it applies it really well on your lid so to add a lot more depth and a lot more smokiness to this look I have applied this black glitter all over my lid now I'm gonna use a liquid eyeliner and this one is from sugar it's a matte liquid eyeliner I'm gonna create a winged eyeliner using this liner Now this is the star of the show guys, it's the Nika K Radiant Liquid Eyeshadow and I'm using uh, this Zoeva Fine Liner Brush. So using uh, this liquid eyeshadow, I'm going to create a wing right above the previous wing which I have created before. So this just adds everything to the look guys. You can even use any other shades with matching with your outfit. So, but I just prefer to use uh, this peach shade which looks so stunning with this navy blue base look now for uh, the mascara I'm using this Maybelline Colossal Big Shot mascara just coating my lashes with it and this just lengthens my lashes doesn't add volume to my lashes at all for the uh, artificial lash I'm using uh, this pack mink eyelash in number M75 and this is how my eye turned out 
Now it's time to complete the rest of my face and for contouring I'm using this Maybelline Master Contour Palette and using the contour shade from the palette I'm gonna contour my overall face and just putting it right uh, just in the hollows uh, of my cheeks on my jawline or forehead and this just adds such a nice uh, dimension and structured uh, look to your face I'm also contouring my nose a little bit now taking the blush uh, from the same palette I'm gonna pop it on the apples of my face so it has got a little bit of shimmer which will add nice glow to your face you can add any uh, peach blush that you have in your collection now for the highlighter I'm using my favorite highlighter of all time and it's the Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter in the shade Molten Rose Gold and you can see this is such a stunning highlighter guys it's suitable for any occasions parties even you can use it uh, just in a light-handed way for a regular use I'm just uh, adding this on the highest points of my face cheekbones nose cupid's bow also adding it right in the inner corners of my eyes and also highlighting my brow bone with the same as well so you can see this is how my overall highlighted face looks like now it's time to add lipstick and for the lipstick i'm using this nika ultra matte lipstick in the shade Razia. such a pretty pink shade which is which just looks so nice i think almost on every skin tones out there it's lo looking a little different on camera guys but believe me it's a lot more prettier than what's showing on camera i really like this shade you can use a nude lip for this purpose as well now to set my overall face i'm using this wet and wild uh, photo focus setting spray to make my makeup last longer and adding a bimbi so this is how it turned out <music> So this is a finished look guys. I hope you really like this video and if you did then please hit on the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you want me to do any other makeup tutorial then please leave a comment down below. I would be surely doing it for you. We'll see you soon guys. I love you. Bye.